The Palaszczuk government is stumbling from one crisis to the next. First the train debacle and now the sudden resignation of the Agriculture Minister. Leanne Donaldson quit after revelations of unpaid council rates and unregistered driving. The day after resigning over $8,000 in unpaid rates and driving an unregistered car. Clearly, um, this does not meet the high standards set by the Premier for all members of her government. The woman who created a big headache for the Premier was in no mood for questions. Resign. Thank you. Thank you. Labor's factions have already started jostling for the vacancy. But let me make it very clear, I will be making the decision. Assistant Minister Mark Ryan is the hot favourite. Former Police Minister Joanne Miller is a rank outsider, but isn't hiding her ambition. Quite frankly, they need my skills around the Cabinet table. She's a backbencher uh, and there's a, there's a lot of backbenchers uh, that are interested in the position. Even the catters want to have a say. They've threatened the Premier that their ongoing support depends on her appointing a regional MP as Agriculture Minister. I don't think uh, it should be about your postcode. It should be about your performance. Mr Catter, happy to step up if necessary. That'd be some, something we'd love to entertain, but I'm not too sure either side would pick us up. <laughs> it is a Labor government position and, uh, and I will be making that appointment as the Premier of this state. We're seeing a government lurching from crisis to crisis. The Premier certain all 89 MPs are now up to date with their accounts. The events of the last uh, 24 hours uh, has been a wake-up call uh, for a lot of people. And Pat, does the Donaldson resignation end the Premier's woes? Oh, far from it. There's still the small matter of Sterling Hinchliffe's rail fail with its lack of drivers and cancellation of services. Some senior party members are actually gobsmacked that uh, the embattled Transport Minister keeps his job while Leanne Donaldson had to quit. Several senior ministers want Miss Palaszczuk to have a wider reshuffle to lighten Mr Hinchliffe's workload so he can concentrate on sorting out the commuter chaos. Ominously, however, the Premier says any changes will be minimal, which will further uh, anger people within her government. Well, thank you, Pat. Now, speaking of rail fail, Katrina Blau has yet another timetable has been announced to win back rail commuters. Yes, but the Transport Minister says this one will be different because it'll be both consistent and reliable. There will be 333 fewer services than there were last month. The Minister says that October timetable was unsustainable and this time around they've used go-card data to cut quiet services and funnel resources to busier lines instead. The acting Queensland Rail CEO says his goal is to to get to 96% on time running. This new timetable is online to inspect now and will take effect from this coming Monday. Thanks, Katrina.